Hello friends, today I am reading class 10th, chapter 1, it's a poem by Vikram Seth, The Frog and the Nightingale. Once upon a time a frog croaked away in Bingle Bog. Every night from dusk to dawn he croaked on and on and on. Other creatures loathed his voice, but alas, they had no choice. And the crass cacophony blared out from the sumac tree, at whose foot the frog each night minstreled on till morning night. Neither stones, nor prayers, nor sticks, insults, or complaints, or bricks, Still the frog's determination to display his heart's elation. But one night a nightingale in the moonlight cold and pale perched upon the sumac tree casting forth her melody. Dumbstruck sat the gaping frog and the whole admiring bog stared towards the sumac rapped, and when she had ended, clapped. Ducks had swum and herons waded to her as she serenaded, and a solitary loon wept beneath the summer moon. Toads and teals and tiddlers captured by her voice, cheered on, enraptured. Bravo! Too divine on core, so the nightingale once more, quite unused to such applause, sang till dawn without a pause. Next night, when the nightingale shook her head and twitched her tail, closed an eye and fluffed a wing, and had cleared her throat to sing. She was startled by a croak. Sorry, was that you who spoke? She inquired when the frog hopped towards her from the bog. Yes, the frog replied. You see, I'm the frog who owns this tree. In this bog, I've long been known for my splendid baritone. And of course... I wield my pen for bog trumpet now and then. Did you? Did you like my song? Not too bad, but far too long. The technique was fine, of course, but it lagged a certain force. Oh, the nightingale confessed, greatly flattered and impressed, that a critic of such note had discussed her art and throat. I don't think the song's divine, but, oh well, at least it's mine. That's not much to boast about, said the heartless frog without. Proper training, such as I and few others can supply. You'll remain a mere beginner, but with me, you'll be a winner. Dearest frog, the nightingale breathed, this is a fairy tale and your Mozart in disguise come to earth before my eyes. Well, I charge a modest fee. Oh, but it won't hurt, you'll see. Now the nightingale inspired, flushed with confidence and fired, with both art and adoration, sang and was a huge sensation. Animals for miles around flogged towards the magic sound, and the frog, with great precision, counted heads and charged admission. Though the next morning it was raining, he began her vocal training. But I can't sing in this weather. Come, my dear, we'll sing together. Just put on your scarf and sash. Go, oh, ah, go, ash, go, ash. 
So the frog and nightingale journeyed up and down the scale for six hours till she was shivering and her voice was hoarse and quivering. Though subdued and sleep deprived, in the night her throat revived and the sumac tree was bowed with breathless titled crowd. Owl of Sandwich, Duck of Kent, Mallard and Melody Trent, Martin Cardinal Mephisto, and the Coot of Monte Cristo, ladies with tiaras glittering, in the interval sat twittering, and the frog observed them glitter with a joy both sweet and bitter. Every day the frog who'd sold her Songs for silver tried to scold her. You must practice even longer till your voice like mine grows stronger. In the second song last night, you got nervous in mid-flight. And my dear, lay on more trills. Audiences enjoy such frills. You must make your public happier. Give them something sharper, snappier. We must aim for better billings. You still owe me sixty shillings. Day by day, the nightingale grew more sorrowful and pale. Night on night, her tired song zipped and trilled and bounced along. Till the birds and beasts grew tired at a voice so uninspired, and the ticket office gross crashed, and she grew more morose, for her ears were now addicted to applause quite unrestricted, and to sing into the night all alone gave no delight. Now the frog puffed up with rage, brainless bird, you're on the stage. Use your wits and follow fashion. Puff your lungs out with your passion. Trembling, terrified to fail, blind with tears, the nightingale heard him out in silence, tried, puffed up, burst a vein, and died. Said the frog, I tried to teach her, but she was a stupid creature, far too nervous, far too tense, far too prone to influence. Well, poor bird, she should have known that your song must be your own. That's why I sing with panache, Koo-ah, koash, koash. And the foghorn of the frog bled unrivaled through the bog. So friends, if you liked this recitation, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification button so that you never miss any further videos from this channel.